ora tēnā koutou katoa. Nā mai hare mai i rangi tēnā waka kou Edward Takuemua. Well, a very good afternoon everyone. Welcome on board the Gem of the Sound, your pure Milford vessel for your pure Milford cruise today. My name's Edward, I'm your skipper today, joined on board by a pretty awesome team as well. Joining me today we have got Jasmine, Becky and Anna. If you have any questions at any time, please feel free to approach any member of staff, we're more than happy to help. But just as we're getting underway though, we do need to bring your attention towards some of the safety equipment and procedures fitted to this vessel, so in the unlikely event of an emergency out in the fjord today, you will hear seven short followed by one long blast on the ship's horn. This indicates general emergency. What we'd ask you to do upon hearing this, remain calm, seated, and follow the instructions of your well-trained crew. In the unlikely event that their usage was to be required, life jackets can be found under seats in the lower and mid cabins and in clearly marked lockers throughout the vessel. Either way though, crew will help you with those in the unlikely event their usage was required. If you see anyone fall overboard today, please throw one of the many life rings located around the vessel and of course come and tell the crew what you've seen. We also ask that as you're moving around the boat you do so with caution, mind your footing and use the handrails provided, particularly while going up or down the stairwells. For the comfort and safety of all on board, this vessel is a strictly smoke-free service. This includes the use of all vape and e-cigarette devices, so we do please ask that you refrain from using these for the duration of the cruise today. For your convenience, there are four bathrooms on board this vessel, located down aft on the lower deck, two on each side. Also located down on the lower deck, the vessel's cafe serving a range of hot and cold foods, pies, sandwiches, wraps, salads, all kinds of things all available, some sweet treats available down there as well. And happy half hour for the first half of the cruise as well. We have got a bar on board serving a range of alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages all available for purchase in the cafe. Like I said, happy half hour for the first half of the cruise. All right, well welcome everyone to Peel Peel Tahi. Firstly, my personal apologies for the delay in departure. Unfortunately, the tour bus breaking down did put a damper on things, but we are heading out of here at best speed. We're going to get you guys out there, get you amongst it. Rest assured, we are going to make up some time, get you out there. But my apologize, apologies for the delay. Without further ado, though, folks, we now invite you, though, to sit back, relax, and enjoy your cruise. Yeah, the other night. 
by walking out of my room. Because <laughs> even better because she was watching like some like murder mystery documentary thing and I just walked out and said, hello. Happy Jack. Yeah. Well, we're all moving so we're punching into oh. a lot of wind. No, they were here at this spot. We are now coming up to a place called Seal Rock. Can you wonder what lives here, eh? I'm going to take a guess. So it's probably some New Zealand fur seals or rock sausages, as I like to call them. And what can I tell you about these guys? Well, they're all guys. Every single one of the seals that lives here is a teenage boy. And I know this because of seal behaviour. Seal behaviour tells me that these boys, being typical teenagers, thinking they're much bigger, much stronger than they actually are, they probably tried stealing girlfriends from the dominant male in their colony. Hey guys, we go upstairs, there's almost nobody on the top deck. And it's great there. Now the dominant male presumably didn't like this terribly much because he kicked them out of the colony and banished they came here to the Milford Sound Bachelor's Pad where they spend all day doing what boys do best. What's that ladies? You got it. Not much at all. They eat, they sleep, most importantly they dream about girls. Now they've got a very good reason to be dreaming about girls too because you see when they get bigger, stronger, more smelly, they're gonna head out to sea again, find themselves another dominant male, they'll try to steal his girlfriends. If they win, they get to keep them all. That my friend, somewhere between 30 and 40 girlfriends each. Wow, lucky boys. In the meantime though, they just hang out here, the Milford Sound Bachelors Pad. They head out at night to go fishing and they'll eat their entire body weight's worth of fish each night. Kind of like me with a plate of nachos, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> 
down though, and just like you'd just be leaving your diamonds everywhere you go as you've got them covered. They've been cutting a bit of the concrete, but presumably they'd wear out a bit as well. Wouldn't be able to shock it so bad. in Milford. It's called Stirling Falls. It's over 140 metres tall and it's powered entirely by melting glacier. The water in this waterfall has never been touched by human hands before. So you guys are going to be the very first to touch it. We're going to get you up nice and close to this waterfall. Best spot to be down at the bow, the very front of the boat. Now, I'll let you in on the legendary qualities of this waterfall because you guys, I think, need a bit more persuading to get outside. Legend has it, if you're touched by the waters in this waterfall, you'll wake up tomorrow feeling and looking 10 years younger. You wouldn't want to miss out on that, unless you're under 10, I guess. Then you might. All new adventurous folk, though, head out to the bow. Best spot to be by far. But I do need to give you a warning, though, guys. You'd be surprised the number of people it turns out don't know this. They email us later. I love these emails. Yeah. I sit around in a big circle and read them to each other at night. <laughs> people who email us telling us they didn't know that they'd get wet under a waterfall. Oh, we well, 
I'll let you in on the secret, guys. Waterfalls are wet. If you stand under one, you're probably going to get wet, so I do recommend if you have any sensitive electronics, anything you want to stay dry, really, do leave that inside, then head on out for this amazing waterfall. Here we go, folks. It's going to be cold. It's going to be wet. It's going to be awesome. Get out there. Get amongst it. Waterfalls are wet. Enjoy. What's going up? Because I can't.